हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शीला रत्न बनसोडे फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक दैट इज सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड्स एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलरली वील बी लुकिंग इनटू पिरामिड मूविंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द सेक्शनल व्यू ऑफ पिरामिड दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स फॉर द करंट वीडियो नाउ आई सजेस्ट यू टू पॉज द वीडियो एट दिस मोमेंट एंड रिकॉल द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पिरामिड any kind of pyramid whether it be a square pyramid or a hexagonal pyramid and so on what are the elements of pyramids let us move further let us consider an example here as we all know pyramid has a base and an apex at the top the base can be of any shape either it will be a square a triangular a hexagonal a pentagonal and so on it has fixed edges inclined edges vertical edges it has sides for the base moving further with the example we have a square pyramid with its base edge 30 mm and axis 55 mm long has its base on hp and all the edges of base equally inclined to vp it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 degrees to hp and bisecting the axis we have to draw its sectional top view sectional side view and true shape of the section let us analyze the question what has been given as the object is we have a square pyramid whose base edge is 30 mm and axis is 55 mm long it is resting with its base on hp and in such a way that its all edges are equally inclined to vp then further it is cut by a section plane which is perpendicular to vp inclined at 45 degrees to hp and is bisecting the axis now here bisecting the axis means you have to draw the cutting plane exactly at the midpoint of the axis let us start object we have then we'll start with the explanation this is a square pyramid which is kept in the given condition that is its sides are equally inclined to vp its sides are equally inclined to vp this is the cutting plane that is inclined to hp at 45 degrees and perpendicular to vp this is the condition how it looks the exact cutting plane and this is the uh, condition how your solid is kept this is the top view of the solid and this is the front view of the solid now let us move for the actual drawing this is your xy line upper side is vertical plane and below side is horizontal plane we have the top view sides are equally inclined to vp sides are equally inclined to vp you can see on the screen the first condition that was given for resting position of the solid that is the sides are equally inclined to vp so here each side is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 45 degrees will project for the top view this is the top view and front view of the given solid this is the cutting plane cutting plane is perpendicular to vp hence it is seen as an line in front view it is inclined at 45 degrees to hp so this is the inclination anything 
with respect to HP is seen in front view. It bisects the axis. It is passing through the midpoint of the axis. That is the distance displayed on the screen. Now wherever the cutting plane cuts the vertical edges, we mark those points as A. Here only one edge is being cut. Here we have two edges, one pass coming from this and one coming from this. Then again at this point we have only one edge. So A, B, C and D or A dash, B dash and C dash are the edges or are the points where the cutting plane cuts the solid. Now we will project each and every point in top view like the point A lies on this gender, uh, edge. So it is projected on that the center two points and this point. And we'll mark each and every point. Now here the points B dash and C dash lie on this generator, the center generator. We cannot directly plot those points exactly on this top view. Hence we use the rotation method. In rotation method we project this point on one of the end generators and then project it vertically downwards. Like this. And then we rotate these points back to its original generator. Like where from it was taken. Now B dash and C dash were taken from the central generator. They are projected on the end generator then in top view and then they are rotated back to the original generators in this way. This is the construction part to get the points B dash and C dash. Now we will join the cut portion. So this is the sectional view of your solid. This is the sectional view of your solid where the cutting plane cuts the solid at points A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. When the cutting plane is kept equally inclined to the vertical plane. Now we will move to the side view. We will project all the points. We have drawn the construction of 45 degrees. We will project each and every point like point 1 from top view, point 1 from front view and similarly 2, 3, 4. All the points will be projected. These are the points. This is the outer body of the pyramid. And these are the cut portion of the solid where you will get the sectional view. Now here as point A lies on this central generator that is passing from 1. So inside view it has been marked on it A. Similarly B and C will now come on the end generators as we have revolved the view inside view and point D on the middle generators. So the points which were on end generators in the front view are now at the middle generator in side view. So this is the sectional view of a solid. Let us dark the remaining portion of the solid. We, you have to dark what is remaining. This part has been removed. This part has been removed. So the remaining portion of your solid is this. You have to dark the remaining portion of the solid to indicate that that is the complete object that has been retained. In all views we have darkened the edges. Now we will move to the true shape of the object. 
we have taken a plane parallel to the cutting plane at any distance we have projected all the points and take the distance from this side side view and plot the points on the respective generators so here you can see front view true shape sectional top view and sectional side view thank you